be surprised if Chanel reissued this bag, but if I carried these together, it would be totally the mum and baby bag trend. So definitely, yeah, Fendi, if you love this trend, they have plenty of bags that you can kind of mix and match together. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. Today I wanted to talk about mum and baby bags. I don't know what this kind of theme is called or trend, but I'm just nicknaming it that. What I basically mean is when you get a bigger bag and then you stick a micro bag on it or the bag has like miniature bag elements stuck to it. So I've noticed that this trend, well, it's been going on for ages, but recently I've noticed a few more brands kind of do this and I wanted to go through today iconic mum and baby bags that are like have come out in the past and that also are going to be released next year. So guys, if you're into handbags, totally subscribe to my channel. I'm really trying to pump out the videos as usual and all your support would mean so much to me. So first bag that I noticed was going to be released next year is the Louis Vuitton Capucines bag, which has a miniature Capucines stuck to the strap. And I know that the Capucines bag from Louis Vuitton is very highly regarded. They release it in exotics, they release it in like artistic st different collaborations and all that. Like you see a lot of um very interesting Capucine bags. And this one, well, it really stands out to me because it literally has a micro Capucine stuck on the strap. Now, let me know what you think of this, guys. It's going to come out January the 1st, 2024. There is also going to be one in blue. So it's going to come in a yellow shade and this really nice kind of duck egg blue color. Really cute. And it's called the Capucine Mini Me. So yeah, it's like a mum and baby, a mini me. And I guess you could also get this Capucine charm and add it to your other bags definitely super collectible. Next thing that I noticed from Louis Vuitton is this Croissant MM in denim blue. This is also going to launch in January and I think a lot of people are anticipating the new denim collection from Louis Vuitton. It's definitely referencing uh, some of the denim collections from the early 2000s and the croissant bag is personally one of my favorite shapes but what's particularly nice about this one is, is that it has a miniature croissant little baby stuck to it which you could also wear as a separate bag um i believe that this denim style is also going to come in the plain brown monogram canvas i do think that it's going to be quite expensive because you are paying for like two bags essentially and you know louis vuitton they always like to find an excuse to up the price but it is super duper cute recently uh chanel released a lot of metallic bags like an LA kind of theme collection, very kind of uh, psychedelic, I don't know if it was like 60s, it was more like 70s, like roller skating vibe. They had these metallic bags with a little star stuck to the side, so it was like a little coin purse. And Chanel have done this in the past as well, they had in 2019 bags with circular coin purses stuck to them, but the star did give me that little bit of like a micro bag stuck to a bigger bag vibe again. They came in an array of different colors, purple, pink, silver, pot potentially a gold as well. And yeah, I know that back in the early 90s, around 1994, 1995, Chanel had a bag called the Twins Bag, which I'm surprised they haven't reissued yet because, you know, this year they released the Chanel Party Cali bag, which was actually referencing one of their bags from the late 90s. But the Twins Bag is especially cute. And, you know, you saw it on the runway shows back in the day. And it is really nice because there is like a very nicely shaped square Chanel bag stuck to a rectangle and they both have these very structured uh, top handles and a little gold thing to connect them. So I wouldn't be, just a little prediction there guys, I wouldn't be surprised if Chanel reissued this bag because it is actually totally back in trend and so adorable. But yes, um, if you do want to get that OG look, definitely get the Chanel Twins bag. It is so nice. I did see a few on my recent trip to Japan. Uh, you know, a more vintage, vintage coup potentially had one of these bags. And yeah, they are definitely very collectible. When I think of a micro bag stuck to a bigger bag, definitely Fendi comes to mind. They've done so many iterations of this kind of mum and baby bag vibe. No, it was this the start of this year. They had the anniversary of the baguette bag. I am not an expert at Fendi, guys, so 
um, I don't know the whole history of all the baguettes they used to have, but one uh, thing I did notice on the runway was a model was wearing this really vivid green kind of yellow dress, and she had a sequin baguette with like a smaller baguette, and she was like carrying them together as a set. So the whole double bag look, it is kind of that mum and baby vibe again, like carrying the mini bag with the bigger bag. And I did even notice on the runway a few bags, like this cow print bag, had a lot of like Pico Fendi charms stuck to it. So these Pico baguette charms. And I just was obsessed when I saw that. Like I actually wanted to just buy the Pico bag charm and like stick it to one of my other bags because it is just way too cute. And especially the fact that they've doubled like two little ones to it, it is just to die for. Now you can also get the, I think it's like a micro... Fendi baguette bag, uh, sorry, it's like a peekaboo bag charm, and I have seen people style the peekaboo bag charm on the peekaboo bags as well, and that's again that similar vibe. So definitely, yeah, Fendi, if you love this trend, they have plenty of bags that you can kind of mix and match together. You can get micro, you can get pico, and yeah, you could just even layer them up. You can put like th three pico bag charms on one bag, you can really go crazy, um, and yeah, I really love the novelty of this it's really cute moving on to Hermes they are kind of doing a similar trend uh next year as well I recently saw a sneak peek of a Kelly Ado backpack which had a little Kelly pocket stuck to it and it's kind of like that double bag look again it's kind of giving me that vibe because usually when Hermes have done the Kelly Ado backpack in the past they haven't added any pockets to it or anything and this little like random little Kelly thing stuck to the side I just thought was so novelty and cute they are also going to release a crossbody Kelly pochette bag which has a little Kelly clasp thing stuck to the strap which is giving me like a similar vibe to the Capucines that is going to be released next year as well and this again is another newer Hermes bag I've never seen anyone on YouTube unbox this yet but it is an upcoming kind of bag a newer bag that Hermes have created and again it's that like double bag kind of look Hermes have also previously released um in recent years a Kelly pocket strap which again it kind of has that like double bag look and you can add this Kelly pocket strap to your other Kelly bags and then even a mini Kelly and have that little like double clasp look again um now that being said this Kelly pocket strap um I have seen it in the boutique a few times and I've been tempted to get it but it is a fortune guys for a bag strap I think it is over three thousand Australian dollars it is such a cool statement piece but it is very expensive um also along the I mean everything at Hermes is expensive but for a strap oh, I don't know guys like maybe one day but another thing that I love from Hermes is the Kelly doll bag charm and this just looks I feel like so stinking cute on any Kelly bag having the Kelly doll bag charm on the bag there's also the um the Twilly Kelly doll charm something like that. It's like a mini Kelly that you can wear on your other bags. It's really cute. And this again is a bit like that mum and baby vibe that Hermes have also done. This year they even released a Belide on Wheels bag charm, which again, you could add to your Belide bag and it would just be that, that twins bag look again. Oh my gosh, I just die. But any anything miniature bag at Hermes is just it just costs a bomb I mean that Kelly doll bag charm I even see it go pre-loved for like over five thousand Australian dollars so it is expensive but if you just love it that much I mean I do not blame you for buying it because it is just way too adorable so it's definitely like a bucket list item for me to get like a Kelly doll bag charm honestly it's so cute so yes that would be like the top of my list for this trend um, but what else is there? I think that's about it that I saw. But have you noticed, guys, that there's this, like, double bags trend happening as well? And if you were to invest in this trend, what brand would you go for? Would you go for the Louis Vuitton? Would you go for Fendi, Chanel? Uh, let me know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think it's quite cute. I mean, I kind of already have... You can kind of play around with bags that you already have. For example, my cheapo version. <laughs> it's not really cheap, but I already have the Longchamp extra small bag, and I have the um, mini like double x small bag and I guess if I carried these together it would be totally the mum and baby bag trend and uh yeah Longchamp they do 
more affordable bags like i got these on sale so they were you know a lot less than a designer bag like from chanel or something so if you do like the trend because i quite like the trend you could always go for a contemporary bag as well i mean i'm sure coach kate spade probably have really more affordable alternatives as well because it is quite a trend and you are going to be paying a lot more for this trend from a designer house than you were to at a contemporary house but yeah anyways thanks for listening to my playboy video today hope you enjoyed it please like and subscribe and i'll talk to you guys on my next one bye